If a black hole begins as a star somewhere in a galaxy, how does it end up in the galaxy's center? Is the gravitational pull so strong that all the stars in the galaxy start revolving around it? When a giant star collapses at the end of its life, it can leave behind a super-dense leftover called a stellar mass black hole. These cosmic vacuum cleaners are just like their name suggests, they're heavyweight champs, packing a punch of 2 to 100 times the sun's mass. During this stellar explosion, the black hole might get a little shove, sending it wandering through space in any random direction. This means they don't usually end up at the heart of a galaxy, unless they were already hanging out there before the big boom. The black holes residing in the heart of galaxies are a whole different story. These are the supermassive black holes, or SMBH for short, and they live up to their name. Imagine a million suns crammed together. That's the starting point for an SMBH's mass, and they can reach up to a staggering several billion times our sun's weight. Our very own Milky Way boasts a central SMBH clocking in at around 4.3 million solar masses, while the monster lurking in the center of the elliptical galaxy M87 is a whooping 6.5 billion solar masses. Unlike their stellar mass cousins, SMBHs don't seem to be born from collapsing stars, nor are they likely just a bunch of smaller black holes stuck together. The truth is, astronomers are still scratching their heads about how these galactic giants come to be. But we do know they appear around the same time a galaxy is taking shape, and the two seem to be intertwined as they evolve. Interestingly, despite their influence on each other, the gravitational pull between an SMBH and its galaxy is quite weak. Just because an SMBH occupies the galactic center doesn't mean all the stars are dancing around it. Despite their immense mass, SMBHs typically only make up a tiny fraction, like one millionth, of the entire galaxy's mass. This means most stars barely even notice the SMBH's presence gravitationally. Think of it this way. The farther you are from a black hole, the weaker its gravitational grip becomes. So, only stars venturing very close to the SMBH actually orbit it. The vast majority of stars in a galaxy whirl around the galaxy's center of mass, which does coincide with the central region, but isn't the SMBH itself.